Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. I thought I would jump on and say hello to you. And I had a good analogy that I came up with the other day when I was flying um, to Ohio. So I was like, oh, you know what? I, instead of, um, instead of going and making this a post, I'm going to jump on live and I am going to talk to you guys about this. So I'm not talking about the story that happened to me on the plane. If you did not read that post, I highly um, recommend going back and reading that. Or if you're inside of my Facebook group, go watch because I actually shared the note that I received um, inside of my Facebook group. So if you guys haven't read that story yet and you're into, you know, spirituality or just like want to hear a crazy story, I highly, highly recommend going and watching that. So if you're jumping on, and that's a little bit late for everyone. Make sure you say hi. If you're watching live with me, you can say hello. Or if you're watching the replay, just use hashtag replay. So I thought this was a really good analogy. And I wanted, like I said, I wanted to do it on live instead of doing it into a post because it kind of just allows you to really paint the picture. And I, when I was getting ready to fly home, um, you know, back here to Ohio, there, I was sitting on the airplane and it was me and it was a mom and it was a little girl in the road together. And for me, I have a lot of airplane anxiety to be completely honest. I get like really, you know, stressed out and we're getting taking off. I am definitely sending out a lot of prayers and meditating and visualizing. I'm just allowing myself in that moment to really just, you know, be calm. And, and um, uh, I think about the plane getting there safely. I do a lot of different things just to keep me feeling uh, safe as I'm traveling. And so I was sitting next to a little girl and her mom, and it was uh, crazy to, to, to think about how different all of us are in our businesses and how different we are in our life when we're starting to take off, right? So we're getting the plane's getting ready to take off. I'm usually sitting there kind of stressing out a little bit, especially because it was going to be windy, and they said it was going to be kind of like a rough takeoff. And this little girl next to me, she's so excited, even though the plane is literally going like this, uh, back and forth the whole time as we're going up into the air. She She's like screaming of excitement. She's like, whoa, this is fun. And we're like, everyone else is kind of like, oh my God, like we're going back and forth. And it made me realize, I'm like, wow, this is so similar. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Christina. Um, this is so similar to how we run our businesses. Like when we're getting ready to either take off with something. So you think about your launching, you're thinking about your starting your business, you're doing something for the first time, you're, you know, putting out a program, you're, um, you know, jumping into something with a coach for the first time, whatever it is, there's usually like a bunch of different ways that we're feeling, right? Sometimes we're that little girl that I'm sitting next to and we're excited and we're just like, this feels like a crazy whirlwind, but it feels good. And sometimes Sometimes we're more of like the other ones of us that are kind of like shitting our pants as we're going into the air and you know as we started to get up and as we started to get up into the air uh, you know we had a lot we had a lot of turbulence and so thinking about this in your business like sometimes you're you're on a smooth ride like things are going good you feel in alignment you feel in the flow people are signing up for your stuff uh, your tech is going smooth and then there's other times where you're inside of your business and it's kind of like a shit show and there's a lot of turbulence and so things are maybe you know not going the way that you want them to you're feeling stuck you're feeling frustrated there's some bumps along the way and sometimes you know that those bumps are coming and you know that there might be some humps that you have to get over. There might be some things that you have to learn. And then sometimes that turbulence hit hits really quick. But who are you going to be in those moments when then sometimes there's turbulence and sometimes the plane has a really smooth smooth ride? Like that's where you get to choose of, okay, like I'm going to be this way when it's smooth, but I'm also going to be this way when things get a little bit crazy. It's about who you're being in the moments when things are going your way or not going your way and how you decide to show up because you're not just gonna you know stop the plane and go land it and you know take a hike out of it when there's a little bit of turbulence like you're going to maybe drop down a little bit you're going to take a look back at things that are happening and say okay like I need to change this a little bit differently I need to do this this worked, this didn't work how can I adjust how can I change my flight path and then get back to where I need to be instead of just saying all right I'm gonna go you know straight down and call it a day we just kind of shift our sails a little bit we're like all right this is where I need to kind of go around or if something comes up into the flight pattern you guys have all if you've been on a flight like sometimes you have to change the direction that you're going it's the same thing in your business like we're always going to be 
presented with these opportunities it's it's about who you're going to be and how you're going to respond into those moments and the same thing happens when we're you know manifesting it's something I talk about a lot with my clients I'm like use the use the process when you're flying to allow yourself you're collapsing time and space and so if you're thinking about quantum leaping and you want to do something on the plane like why don't you one work on content and create because you're in a place where there's not a lot going on. Hi, Kashmir. Um, and allow yourself to collapse time and space. It's the same thing when you're in a car. You're moving from one space to another, so you can use the process of manifestation to help you get there. So I think about that a lot as like the quantum field, since you're talking a lot about um, shifting time or collapsing time and space. Same thing happens in an airplane. You can also use it into a car too. But on the flip side of that, so in your business, there's a lot of trust, right? You just trust that you're going to get there. You see yourself into that place. Like I always envision myself landing on the plane. I'm envisioning, envisioning myself a lot in my business and where I'm looking to go. But in the beginning, like I'm never, I'm not seeing the destination, like when I'm starting off a project or I'm working, you know, if I, when I was investing in the coach that I work with now, like I can't always see the end result. Just like you can't see the plane that you're on or the destination that you're on from the place that you start at. Like you can't look 3,000 miles across the country and get there, but you have the trust and the faith that if you get on that plane, you're going to get to your destination. It's the same thing that you, you do in your business. Sometimes you have to go first. You have to have the trust and the faith that you'll get there and then you get there and you start to, and you're going to start to tap into that feeling in the plane or in your business as well. You're envisioning yourself at your destination, what you're going to do, how it's going to feel, the fun that you're going to have. And you do that same thing with your business too. And you're feeling into that fear. You're walking alongside of it because at each level, when you hit that turbulence, when something's coming up, like you're still going to feel those bumpy moments always. Even when you get, you know, to your next destination, you got to go to another one. There might be some more turbulence along the way. At each level that you get to, at each place, those things don't just delete themselves. Those fears, whatever, you know, those beliefs that we have, we just focus on the new ones and the new, the new ones start to fill our time more rather than the old fears coming back in. And so, so often we think that we have to like completely, you know, destroy a fear that we have and then we'll recreate a new one. Focus on recreating a new one. The more time that you focus on that, the more energy that you have putting yourself into that new fear or into that new belief, then you just, before you know it you're not focusing on that old belief as much so who are you being when the route changes and if you think about it like sometimes when you're on a plane another analogy for you the the wi-fi works and everything's going great and sometimes like you don't get access to wi-fi on the plane and you just have to sit there and create content and do other things same thing happens in your business sometimes the technology is not your friend and so you're asking yourself in those moments okay if this is something that overwhelms me if this is something that is not my zone of genius and either you outsource it or ask yourself like how can i make this easier for myself how can i let this uh, and allow this to be easy how can I simplify it and where can I just make it not hard for people to connect with me or hard for people to buy from me and just create an experience for them. Um, I know that was something that I struggled with, with such a long time for such a long time was like, okay, how can I just make things more simple on my end and for my customers? And I would spend so much time in the back end trying to, you know, perfect everything. And I was like, this isn't working for me. How can I just, you know, do things like getting on live video, having a podcast, getting myself out there rather than needing to have all the bells and whistles and just starting into that one place? Because uh, guess what? You start into that one place, you start in a regular class, you work your way up to the next piece, you work your way up to the next piece. So think about who are you being in the turbulence of your business? Are you allowing yourself to get frustrated, to get stuck, to just stop? Or are you saying, all right, like this is what happens when I run a business. Sometimes things come and they're smooth sailing and sometimes, you know, the we're hitting some wind and I have to readjust a little bit or I have to try something differently because nothing that we do in our business has failed. It's just allowing us to try something differently and figure out what's working, what isn't working. So we, um, to kind of like sum all this up, like refocus and rest when you need to because we all need those times where we have to like just take a moment and debrief and kind of get out of our way so then we can focus on what is working for us. The second thing is have a flight map so something that I did this month was I mapped out all my live video and podcast podcast content for the entire month and I know exactly what I'm going to be going live on in my personal page in my group that's outside of um, my coaching programs that I have and what podcast I think I said that what podcast I'm launching so I have a plan Facebook personal page my group 
podcast what I'm speaking about. It's in a system, so I know how I need to sh- um, show up, what I need to be talking about. I have it myself a plan, but it also gives me accountability. The third thing is is to find a co-pilot. So this is like a co- having a coach or having somebody in your corner. So when you're not sure about how something's working or you're wondering if you need to change your path a little bit or you have your blinders on and you're like, I can't see like through the fog or whatever it is, then you have somebody that you're like, hey, um, you know, how should I be doing this or how can you help and they can guide you there. A coach isn't necessarily someone that's, you know, above you trying to talk down on you. They're with you in that journey. They're helping you navigate what you need to navigate. They've been in there you know you kind of have like the first captain or whatever and uh the, co- the co-pilot and that's what a coach is so they're the pilot they're allowing you to you know they're guiding you to get there they've probably flown before hopefully right and they're teaching you okay here's the steps that you need to take here's what you need to do learn from what I have been able to create and they're giving you that blueprint and they're you know talking with you as you're going through um this process And the last thing is, you know, being okay with the turbulence. Like nothing has ever failed. It's just moving you closer to your definition. So don't look at the things that maybe didn't go in your favor as things that were, you know, didn't work or weren't happening. Just allow yourself to say, you know what, like this is moving me closer to my destination. Do I need to change my path a little bit? Do I just need to kind of keep going and work through the turbulence? Or do I need to drop down a little bit, figure out what needs to happen so then I can come back with even more power? Yay. Ooh, and just other one other one that I thought about is, you know, again, thinking about sometimes how planes just kind of go like on autopilot, we do the exact same thing too. So be aware of when you're operating in your business when it's a lot on the autopilot mode versus when you're being very intentional and you're being in the moment and you're creating those experiences. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night and I will be on live tomorrow. I have an announcement for a program of mine that I've done before that's coming back so I'm excited but I'm gonna go jump off of here and I'll talk to you guys later goodbye